Hello and welcome back to Nairi Unveiled. We are doing something extremely unique today. We are actually here in Israel at Berta headquarters and I have Nir with me. Hi Nir. Welcome, welcome, shalom. It's been incredible. We've spent the past week here. Thank you to Nir for inviting us and course, forcing, <laughs> forcing us to come out here because we almost didn't. For the third time, you almost did it, yes. uh, but eventually it happened, so happy to have you. Thank you. And Nir said it was unacceptable for us not to come, and we had to, and it has been such a remarkable trip to see so much history that this country has, and where these stunning gowns are produced, to see Berta headquarters, how the gowns are made, it's incredible. And where all the inspirations are coming from, where you see the country and you see the sites. So Absolutely. Everything matches up. And even the ad campaigns, all the images that are captured, it's inspired by the city. And also you take it to different countries as well. Yes. But it's really been truly remarkable to see. And I learned something new. I learned that Berta's designs start with the fabric. She gets the fabric and then she starts draping it on mannequins. And then from there, she's inspired to create the sketch, the pattern, and then the design develops yes, from there. Yes, yes. So tell us, Nir, what is your favorite part about Berta headquarters? He gave us a tour of all the different areas and different rooms. This place is huge. There's so many components to it. What's your favorite room here? So the favorite thing about the headquarters is the weather. <laughs> As you've seen in Israel, where we are now in December and you can pretty much go to the beach. <laughs> Uh, yes. But yeah, well, the headquarters is built in a way that is very, very functional. So it's divided into production, into storage, into the showroom part, into the offices of the international headquarters. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously the, the headquarters offices are the favorite part because that's the part I've designed and decorated the, to our needs for the HQ of the fashion house. But um, again, the flow here and the distinction between each department and the, the divisions we've built, that makes everything really... Uh, flow and very efficient. It is a well-oiled machine. Yes. It truly is because we saw all the different aspects. So there's the pattern room, right? We went from the pattern room, then we went to... The embroidery, the yeah. hand, hand embroidery. And then you have the... So the pattern, you have the first sewing, and then you have the embroidery. You have the QA, the first phase QA after the, the sewing part, and then the second phase QA after the embroidery part. And then you have another QA in the packing, in the packing room that you've seen, <laughs> and you have the fabrics and the stock room. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of moving pieces. It's intense. It's, and you're going to see some of the behind the scenes footage of us in these different spaces, in the rooms. and Pretty much first look into the Berta production, yeah, because it, it was never exposed before. It's incredible, incredible. So how long does it take Berta from the beginning of when she starts seeing the fabric to producing a gown? What does that timeline so kind it, of look it, like? It varies very much, so it really depends. Sometimes she can, you know, she can get an idea and a sense of how this should look. Again, starting with the fabrics, as you mentioned before. Sometimes all the pieces can fall into place very fast and it can take a week or so until she has the final sketch and then it moves on to production. Sometimes it can take a few weeks. The general time frame we're looking at is about six months because it's usually the cycles of one fashion week to the next. But uh, with Berta being Berta, <laughs> she's usually ahead of the schedule, way, way ahead of schedule. As you've seen, some glimpses that I'm sorry, but you won't be able to share with the audience. Yes. But you've seen some of the inspirations that's going to happen in the fall winter 2021, meaning October 21 yes. uh, will only be debuted. Which is insane and there are there are parts of of headquarters that we can't show to everybody but you are going to get to see close-up um images of them working and footage of the yeah. pattern room and the rolls of fabric there's so much fabric here it's insane and she showed us some of the fabrics that are going to be in the next collections which we can't share that yet either but it's been one of the coolest experiences of my career. Yes, well, truly. Happy to hear that. Yeah, hear that. because it's it's rare. We don't usually get to go into the behind the scenes and see the way things are produced, where the fabrics are, the women that are behind yes. sewing every single the dress. The, the, the artisan, the true craftsmen that are behind each and every dress. And what's interesting is that, honestly saying, you can't really find many places, if any, that are built and operating such as the Berta headquarters. Very true. Reason being, the dresses are very artesian, right? Very high end, bridal couture as we know it. Mm -hmm. However, we do cater to over 200 retailers all over the world at this point. 
So while this is not mass production, so the alternative will be to go and see mass production uh, factories in, you know, in the East, China and where not, mm -hmm. um, or the ateliers in, in Paris or you know, in the European cities. With Berta, we have uh, been able to really merge and you know, embed the, the, the bridal couture and the artesian craftsmanship work that you've seen into really manufacturing in relatively high volumes in, uh, concerning uh, this kind of a product. This is so true and one of the reasons why this is so unique because a lot of our designers, not all of them, but a lot of them have multiple factories that the gowns are produced Correct. in. So they'll have headquarters in which where they will design, create the patterns, and then they send it outsource. outsource it somewhere else to have it produced. So it is truly amazing that everything is under one roof, that you have Berta's office, your office, all the administration, the packing, the shipping, design, Under the same complex, under, correct? Yes, yes, it's, yes. It it's is, truly, it is truly unique. And it's also a store for, for brides that are here in Israel, that they can come and get dresses yes, for their wedding. Yes, that's also a flagship store here, yes. that's the showroom in Israel. Yes. But that also operates as a store. It's it's truly been such an honor. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for coming. Having... Finally, finally. It's been long due. Happy to have you. And we need to run away for some more culinary experiences. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. We've been eating so much food here. It's crazy. But one but last thing. But it doesn't thing. show. It doesn't <laughs> it, show. So I'm telling you. We've fresh eaten... and, uh, and healthy. We've eaten so much food and I feel thin. I don't know how it's possible. Yeah. Well, I, I welcome really to Israel. <laughs> It's amazing. One thing that was really cool that I almost forgot to mention was that as we're going through these different rooms, we saw some of our bride's dresses through the production phase. That was super funny. And some of our stock pieces that are getting shipped to us that haven't arrived yet. So we got to see some of our own Lavella bridal unborn gowns. Unborn babies. The unborn yes. babies. I love it. So amazing. Thank well, anyway, you. thank you for having us. And for everyone tuning in, I also did a podcast interview with Nir, breaking down all three different collections that Berta has to offer. Please tune in, subscribe, follow us along, and I can't wait for you all to see this amazing adventure. You've got to end it on. with Shalom, you know that, ah! from Israel. <laughs> okay, ready? One. Shalom. Wait, we have to count. Okay, okay. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Shalom. shalom.